Um, so, Judy, if you're taking minutes, why don't I move to approve the minutes of January 18th? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. So I, scenic roads. So I drafted, did you get, I drafted a note to Scott and Don. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was great. No, no, Judy, I have never, you have never failed to have an edit. <laughs> I mean, I feel that I must pause, I must pause on that. <laughs> no. So Alan, if you have an edit, go for it. <laughs> um, North Street was not named in 73, it was you're right. You're right. You want, should you, you're right. Chestnut Plain and three or four years so ago. So I should, I should edit it to say Chestnut Plain, now Chestnut Plain Road and North Street or yeah. something like that. Something yeah. Like that. Yeah. Or okay. just stick in, in whenever. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. North Street, which was originally part of Chestnut Plain Road. When right. Right. Like um, Okay, thank you. I will send that to them. Love it. And then the only other thing I wanted to talk about, which I've never asked before, is we have a $200 a year budget, which Alan, I think has probably been $200 a year yeah, since yeah. For, for decades. Yep. And we've spent $82 of it this year. Um, well, so my first question is, is there anything else anyone, either of you think we should be doing I, I have I, I used part of it to buy a couple of books of stamps yeah. because when I send those letters out to people who bought historic houses, I decided oh I can I can provide <laughs> the paper in the envelopes, but the town could buy the stamps. <laughs> um, and I don't need any other supplies. No, I, I, I hate to reduce it because then it will never go up again. No, no, I don't want to reduce it. So yes, there are two questions. One is, do we want to spend down any of this magnificent $112 and which we should only do if we have something legitimate. And the other is if $200 is the right thing to ask for again. Well, for the bicentennial or the 250th project, I'm sorry. Um, right. I assume that but we can probably draw on the 250th committee's budget or no? Well, I don't know because last year, uh, probably a good year ago, I asked Susan, after we had discussed this, to set aside $500 for us. And I, we had talked about how many brochures, you know, print <laughs> this whole subject makes me a little anxious because Alan is the only one who's done anything yet. But I, I'm still thinking we will rally if we get, you know, like a four month <laughs> have to deliver it. Anyway, whatever we talked about, I got a printing estimate and and Fred Barron wrote back to me and said, Do you have to use Paradise printing? They're so expensive, Paradise copies. And I said, We don't have to use anybody. I just got a quote, you know, and if, so at that point, they said $500 was fine, but that's when I think they were counting on getting two more big swaths payments from the town. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm just wondering if there's anything we could get done before June that we could I use no our idea. budget for. I, I still, well, we couldn't print, obviously. I no. still, I don't know that what we're talking about doing in an unspecific way, digitally will cost anything. Do you do you know, Alan? No. Um, I mean, the the town boundary stuff is all taken, mostly taken from the existing books and from. Uh, right. Not, I think the issue is whether you need professional help to to do right. it or not. Maybe. That, but. that was the question. The only question that I had was to make it into something useful to people. Maybe more than I have the skills for. So that's several hundred dollars to bring in a professional. Um, just several have, hundred more than 200, you mean? Yeah, I, to actually make it into a useful game or thing that is out on the web. And I'm, I'm not quite sure how to take the next step on it. Um, um, other than to make it 
available to people, which I've already done, but it's not. Right. Um, I, I'm hesitating. I'm, I could go back and ask Kala again. I, I don't mean I've asked her recently, but since she was in a conversation once, I could ask Kala Jones again what what she would think about because her nice map was done for free by a friend or teacher who is a web designer. Yeah. Well, Allison Bell is a designer. And yeah. I, I, could, I could ask Allison. I mean, I would want to make very clear that I'm not asking her to do it because she she gets asked to do a lot. But but um, Lark, Cal and Larkin did the interactive stuff on the web themselves. No, Cal, Cal uh, somebody did, someone else built the architecture for Cal's interactive map. I'll have to go back and look at my notes, but I'm, I'm quite certain of that. She, yes, I'm remembering it was so long ago. She came over here and she and Darcy and I met and talked about that. Um, okay, I thought she, I mean, I don't really think it's all that hard to put the little links on to the audio tapes. Was there more to it than that? I don't know, I don't remember. And, but but Alan, you put those. You did the map of your, the boundary map you sent us, right? Yeah. With the with the balloons. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very simple minded, and if we want anything more than that, um, it may be beyond the skill levels that I have with graphical design. But um, maybe, maybe not. I, it's I haven't really looked at it lately to figure out what it will require. I'm sure there's a high school kid somewhere who could be hard. I remember to... that I also, you know, went down a couple of other paths that just dried up. I talked to a teacher at Frontier yeah. High School. He was very enthusiastic. Then he never returned my subsequent <laughs> inquiries. Well, and and I, I can't remember if that was, I don't think that was in pandemic time. And then I asked Bob Smith and he told me he was retired and he would talk to other teachers of history and English, yeah, history probably mostly, but he didn't. <laughs> so that's we were, I mean, we were thinking then more of a community service project, and I think what we have here is a fairly small job. You know, yeah. somebody might like to do it on a fee basis as opposed to right. Yeah, and it's um, a you know, and just finding somebody with it, and maybe the teacher would be happy to refer somebody. I don't know. Yeah. I anyway, mean, I, we're not I'm sure. Be ready. I, I'm sure I can unearth the teacher's name. Um, so I suppose one question would be, could this motivate us, if if something could be done to be helpful for this project with a hundred bucks, let's say that's five hours of work, just you know. <laughs> For a kid or a junior person, maybe we could get it, some of it set up. If, if we got a little bit more done, we'd be more into it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, if you're like me with with my exhibit and book, uh, having a deadline would help. A, a deadline would really help. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, okay. Why don't I? I think I can talk to Allison without. And make it clear we're not asking her to do it. Plus, she would she, <laughs> she would eat us alive because we have so we're we don't we don't know yet what we want to do. Yeah. I'm not. She doesn't do. I don't know that she does web graphics. She does graph. Well, maybe. Well, well she but she knows about what kind of skills people have and who's yeah. out there. I mean, she and designs, she knows like she's, she's the designer of Historic Deerfields Magazine. They're not her only client. You know, she does. Oh, yeah. Stuff. No, I yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, I will ask her. I, I would prefer not to have to ask the town for an increase in our budget. Mm -hmm. Not a good year to do that. Yeah, yeah I just, I, it's just not the way I want to use up our nickel. 
you know, metaphorically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I think if we ask Susan about the budget at this point, she would say she doesn't know. I, I don't think they've raised any money beyond what the town has given them because their projects have raised, you know, a couple hundred dollars each. Yeah. The netted, I mean. Pottery didn't bring more than that? Oh, sorry, I, I forgot about the pottery. Uh, it, the pottery is mostly profit, isn't it? Well, do, no, they paid, they paid the potter. I think they no, sold no, some. I, I, I was thinking more of their 60 for 60 percent profit. Yeah, no, I'm sure. I'm sure you're right. I, I don't know. I was thinking more of I know their um, yard sales, tag sales mm -hmm. were not lucrative. Um, OK, I will do that before we meet again. OK, yeah, I'll, I'll ask around with. OK, I get paid just to see who I know who's, who's doing this stuff. Okay. Okay. Someone. I mean, I'm actually serious that if we could, oh, yeah. if we could manage to articulate sufficiently our desire and have the architecture built, it, my instinct is that it would motivate us further to fill it. <laughs> you know? yeah. um, is there anything else we should talk about? There is a um, uh, Western Mass meeting coming up in a few weeks on uh, using macros for all sorts of things. I, I saw that. Do you, do you, are you planning I, to? I'm signed up. I've got it marked on my calendar. Um, I'm gonna uh, join it, I think. It looks like a, um, you don't have to pre-register for it, I don't think, um, but it's, uh, it looks like a worthwhile thing to do. Mm -hmm. um, um, and it, think, it, it could be related to the stone wall project and, and lidar stuff oh good yeah that would be good in New hampshire but got no answer no that's great why don't you do that and i'm taking the the course on um vernacular architecture okay that historic deerfield is is um offering next month um which will help me since i know a fair amount about classical architecture, but not as much as I should <laughs> about our architecture. Um, okay, Judy, anything from the planning board that we need to know? I don't think so. The, um, now the LaSalle Marijuana Project had its first public hearing and that's continued till next Tuesday. Did um, anyone come? The was it was it on site or on Zoom? Was on Zoom. Uh -huh. There were some of butters they they are content with it um, reasonably. I mean they they're let's say they're not objecting. They feel the project developers have done a good job of screening and mm -hmm. promised odor control. Was Ann Lomely? She I'm sat in, she her. didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. She did ask if there could be screening on her side and was told that the fence is right up against the 100 foot wetland limit and they couldn't put anything outside it without mm -hmm. creating problems. She said the beavers are taking down all the woods. <laughs> Yes, she has beavers. She likes the beavers, but you know. <laughs> we used to have them, but they all yes. get lost on the roads. Yes, but... they can make some trouble. Oh, here's Susan. Hi, your timing is great. We're we're at the stage of general chit chat. <laughs> Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a work disaster, not disaster, issue. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well, now um, that you're global. Oh, it had nothing to do with that. It had to do with colors not working after the fat, after a piece was knit. And what do we do about that? Oh, dear. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we were actually just about to say goodbye. 
So oh. is there, a, is there a, really, is there anything you want to talk about before we, because we haven't done that yet? Um, actually, yeah, there's news on the 250th, which is that we picked dates for the celebration. Um, it's going to be June 18th to 25th or 26th, I don't have a calendar in front of me, um, of 2022. There's a, the firemen are organizing a mobile parade for this April as something to sell, you know, something to celebrate the real date. But we, as the historical commission, if we're putting something together, the launch would be June 18th. And I guess then we should, that sounds sensible. I guess the other thing that we were talking about that you could help us with is we were talking without much information, again, about the general question of whether we will need funding for our digital project and how much funding we will need and our, our basic budget. Um, and I, gosh, it may have been two years ago, but quite a while ago, I had asked that you think about us for maybe as much as $500. And I think it's probably higher. Is that still reasonable to think yeah, that yeah, yeah. possible? Absolutely okay. not a problem. Okay, good. I mean, if we're talking of thousands and thousands of dollars, then it's a problem. But if we're talking in the ballpark, you know, five, seven, you know, hundred dollars, something, you know, under a thousand, okay. not a problem. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Well, I will still, um, I'm still going to, I will still talk to Allison Bell to get her advice a little bit on, uh, what we might want to do and who might do it. And Alan, you're going to talk to some folks too. Yeah. And then, if, yeah, if, since we have a hundred dollars, a little bit more than that unspent this year, if we can start spending it, that would be great because we'll lose our budget anyway, otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Well, let me see when we should next meet. Um, Everybody's easy if it's the same. Pardon? It's always the same date when it's not a leap year when you go from February to March. Oh, that's right. Right. Of that's course, different. you're right. Of course, yeah. you're right. It must be March. It is March 15th. You're right. Of yeah. course. Of course. Yeah. Okay, good enough. March 15th. Well. It's already on my calendar. <laughs> okay. Susan, how do you change, the, what do you do to change the color of your image? You're in a kind of sepia tone. I think that's just a function of my computer and the light and the, the lighting. lighting in this room. Is that what you, are you all seeing that too? Yeah. We yeah. need to get her some warm light bulbs. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's the Actually, light. Actually, you look camera. fine. That's not the point. You know. <laughs> I know. And looking at it, I look really washed out, but I feel washed out. So. I, yes. Well, Zoom. Okay. Judy, have you had a shot? Yes. That's great. No That's side great. effects except a sore arm. Bill, right. Bill and I both. We want your face to get out of our way. <laughs> right, Alan? It was, yeah. it was so efficient at the Greenfield Senior Center. They were overstaffed. There was no weight going in, just the weight right. after you had the shot. Um, manned by the Greenfield Fire Department and EMTs and a few doctors and volunteer nurses, I think. And right. Free all the way around. I mean, this, they asked about your insurance, but they didn't even want the card number. Oh, it's free. It's free. So um, good. That's great to hear. Someday soon, we'll get to phase two. I'm still, I'm still thinking about April, and I will be pleasantly surprised if it comes before then. They, they said uh, that they were actually adding hours because they were getting more doses than they had anticipated. Ooh, nice. Yeah, this, this was last Friday. So, um, good. And whether they were moving them out of the hospitals by then or not, I don't know. Maybe that was it. But, um, yeah. So yeah. We that would be good. We're, okay. All right, time. everybody. Thank you then. Okay. Stay bye. safe. And again, my apologies. No, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Stay safe. All right. Bye bye.